up everyone? Welcome back to Alt Knots for a, another day here in the Yarn Dungeon where we are coming up to one of my all-time favorite holidays. If you couldn't have guessed from everything that I have chilling right now, Friday the 13th. Last time that we celebrated this, it was a whole year ago. Well, not a year. Close enough though. We crochet something inspired by Friday the 13th, then chill and watch the movies all day long. Last time we did this, I created this right here. The pattern is out, the tutorial is out, there's pictures on my Insta, pictures on YouTube. Basically a wearable blanket. This has to be hands down one of my favorite cardigans to wear. Even when I'm not celebrating Friday the 13th, literally wearable coziness. That's what we wanted. No form fitting whatsoever. Black and red inspired colors, big thick chunky stitches, which means that it's easy to work up. Also, this is a crazy beginner friendly type of pattern as well too. So while it looks like a lot of work because there's just a lot of surface area here, it's really, really repetitive. It's just one row repeat. But that's what I like to do for these patterns because we wanna do the pattern and get to the day, right? Like that's the fun part. As you can see, it's not really that long. It really is just jumbo oversize and the patch is kind of everything. I found the patch last year before I decided what I was actually gonna crochet for this holiday. I also do have some patches. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use these this year or not, but I have a pack of them. This is actually, I snatched these in October from Spirit. It's on their site still. I think it's just something that they constantly have, but this has two different patches and two enamel pins, which I also love enamel pins. That's what I have to work with this year. If I'm gonna be honest, at this point in time, I don't even really know the direction that I'm gonna go. So this is a exploring and figuring out type of video. We're gonna do this together this year. I need to take this off because it is really, really warm. I mean, the purpose is to be a blanket, but not right this second. It is rather warm in the yarn dungeon. My idea for this year is I think I wanna make it a little more fitted, not form fitting, because still, I'm gonna be using this cardigan to chill all day. I'm gonna get some like new sweatpants, probably some new slippers. I don't know, we're gonna go all out like I do every single year and just be cozy the whole day. The yarn that I chose for the cardigan this year is from Furls. It's their Wander 100% acrylic line. I like the acrylic when it comes to cardigans that I'm gonna wear and wash often. That's normally my go-to. And the box has just arrived. I'm not gonna say it's the box or the only box because again, I don't really know the direction yet. So we may need more yarn. But just to get started, let's open this one up. Check it out. I've used this Wander yarn many, many times. I already know what it looks like, but I kind of just want to get everything out. I hope I didn't cut that. That one was rather deep there. Okay, there's a second layer of cardboard that I cut. All right, we're good. Okay. I think this is probably the biggest box that I have ever got from Furls, but I wanted to make sure I had enough to play around with. So here we are. Obviously the colors, I'm gonna do black, white, and red. The white I was thinking maybe for border. I don't really wanna do stripes because that's what I did last time. So maybe just one solid color. But if I do solid red, then I'm gonna want the black to be the border. And I don't know what I'd use for the white. Maybe the pockets. But anyways, how much did I get of this? It looks like I got five of these. We have the black yarn right here. I need to get this box out of the way. I'm assuming that's what the red is as well. All right. This one is not gonna show up very well on a camera. Again, I've used this quite often. It suggests a five millimeter crochet hook, 100% acrylic, number four medium worsted weight, which is my favorite yarn to use, especially when I'm making bigger projects like this. Worsted weight is absolutely my favorite yarn to go to. So we have five of those. Start a pile over there. Next, we have the pack of 10 chilling here. Very, very shiny. None of these are their new colors that they have on there. It's just kind of their classics that they have. Ooh, throw that over there. 
Now, am I gonna need all of these for a cardigan for myself? I'm gonna guess no. And that's just because I have made other cardigans with this yarn in particular, and I have not needed this much yarn. But I'm getting an early start, and I don't wanna have to stop in like the middle of it, or maybe I'm like three quarters of the way done. That would be the worst. Three quarters of the way done, and I need to order like one skein or a half a skein more. That is nightmare fuel right there. Dump those. That almost fell into my coffee. I moved it, but not far enough. All right, this is great. I love this pile of awesomeness right now. I think I am gonna stick with the five millimeter crochet hook, which means we need to go ahead and choose a hook that I'm gonna use for this project now. Yay, one of my favorite parts. Onto the Furls coffin, where I have all my favorite ones up so far. First off, we have cookies and cream. I think that one would look really, really good with the, either if I did white or black or red or black, as the main color. I think that would look really good with it. This honestly has nothing to do with the way that these hooks work. I honestly just like choosing my hook to go with my pattern. So it's like, I love the Aries, but I don't want to use this because if I decide to use red as my main color, it's going to get lost. The Cruella one would be great too. I know there's a five in there. I have that whole line, so there has to be a five. That would go good with black base or red base. Obviously not the Aquarius one. Candy shop, I'm not really in the mood for that. Solar flare, no. What are these, Pisces? Yeah, Pisces, Libra, no. What do we have over here? And we have my go-to Odyssey hooks, which honestly, I think this is gonna win. They're just my favorite to use when I'm doing a long project. I've thought about it a little bit for the stick and I think I'm gonna use the half double crochet. I really enjoy the look of that and you can build it up really, really fast, but I'm gonna play around with half double crochet and the back loop only. That way I can still make it slightly form fitting without worrying about it being too form fitting because it'll have that give, that stretch to it. Construction, I'm gonna do back panel, two front panels, and then two panels for the arms. I prefer the look of half double crochet when it's flat and then I'll just match or stitch it together instead of in the round because the stitch tends to lean a little bit, which isn't the end of the world, but if I can kind of avoid that by doing it this way, I'm gonna try that. I do need some more coffee though, so I'm gonna go grab some. just about done with one full skein of this and there is a hundred grams in here and 120 yards per skein. I decided that each panel is going to be red or what is this called? This is actually called pomegranate. So each panel is going to be pomegranate. The ribbing is going to be black obsidian. There we go. And I haven't figured out if I'm going to do anything with the white yet. Maybe for the pockets. I don't know yet. The half double crochet worked exactly the way that I wanted it to has a nice bit of squishy stretch to it. It's also really, really, really soft. This is now, once again, gonna be a blanket cardigan. Even though it's gonna be form-fitting, it's gonna feel like a blanket wearing it. Day number three, I have the back panel completely done, ready to go. Here we are, it looks beautiful. It turned out exactly as I imagined in my head and I woke up this morning and I hate it. I hate everything about it. I just like can't stand looking at it right this second. It's not that I hate the design, I don't hate the yarn, I don't hate anything like that. It's just so heavy. Like it's ridiculously heavy. If you look, can you tell that it's super, super heavy? How many skeins? I'm one, two, three, four, skeins in just the back panel. This thing is gonna be ridiculously heavy. So I can't do it. Like I can't do it for a spring. Maybe if it was winter time and I was making this, it would be perfect for that. So I think I'm gonna keep this pattern that I wrote. I'm gonna keep it for maybe winter, I don't know. But right now I have to unravel this whole thing. We have to frog this whole thing. Not only do I have the back panel, but I have the sleeve done too. I have one sleeve done. Yes, there's nothing else that can be said about it except for now this project needs to be completely frogged. I think in order to save my sanity, I'm just gonna start crocheting from this. 
I'm not gonna sit down and spend time just actually frogging it. I think I'm just gonna work from it if I can find the end now that I just caused chaos. It's not working with me today because it knows that it's gonna be unraveled here and it doesn't want to be. Now, what is the actual direction that I'm gonna go? Maybe a mesh stitch combo. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Light, airy, but I still want there to be structure to this. Like I still wanna be able to put patches on it, pockets, things like that. So I don't want it to be 100% mesh. Maybe I'll do like a mesh half double crochet or mesh single crochet combo like in between there like two three rows at a time and then switch like once again it's not completely mesh but it is breathable as compared to this which is just going to be obnoxiously heavy i don't know but i just had to share that bit that i am now starting over and i was hoping to have this done by tomorrow but you know, things happen and I'm just not gonna be happy with it. So we're gonna start over. Luckily, I have the <laughs> tags right here so I know exactly how much yarn I have still. That was why I was keeping them and I'm actually really glad that I did because I don't know that I would really realized how much was in here just because it was one back panel, but I'm glad as soon as I got to the third one, I was like, ah, I don't think so. Like, I really don't think so. I think we need to start over. Take two of another making of a Friday the 13th inspired cardigan. Not too far into the sleeve, but I just wanted to show you I'm loving this a million times more. There is a little bit of drape, a little bit of movement to it. It's not so stiff and stagnant here, but there's still structure to it, and it's still gonna keep me warm. Kinda slouchy up there, all the way down to, it's gonna bunch a little bit on the bottom part of my sleeve. I'm a million times happier, so I'm really glad that I did it. I'm still looking at my progress, just like unraveling here as I'm working with it. I'm getting less and less sad though, because I feel like this is gonna be so much better. parts are done except for seaming everything together and putting the ribbing on which is gonna be this color B obsidian so I can't count that yet but if I were to guess I would say probably one skein that's probably all it's gonna take anyways for this we have one two three four which is what that was on the back panel that I had just before this five and a half literally so much lighter okay here we have I'm just gonna throw them on Front piece, front panel, there we go. Back panel, and then we have the arms. It looks like it's gonna be short, but I have big, thick, chunky ribbing that I'm planning for this. The other one, perfect, we're ready to go, right? Just kidding, no. This took less than a day, all of this. Even with like completely starting over, less than a day. Once these pockets are done, we're good to go. Now that I have a mess and I've just thrown this all over the place. Okay, cleaning up, finishing pockets, here we go. To seam everything up, I decided to do the zigzag stitch and I'm gonna be real honest, I forgot how much I love this stitch. It ends up doing that. It's big, it's bulky, it's not for every single thing. So if you want it to be a clean stitch, obviously this isn't for that, but that's not what I was looking for. I can make it even more rustic looking too if I want to by skipping a stitch or doubling up in one stitch and really make it look super distressed because now this is all put together and I can go right into the ribbing, which is super awesome. It is six o'clock in the morning. It's pretty much almost completely done and I'm gonna get ready to go work out a little bit here, but I have everything put together, minus the ribbing, which is gonna take a little bit while longer. So like I said, it's yeah, 546. I have like 15 minutes here, but let's just throw this on, check what it looks like. See, yeah, so that end up perfect for the sleeves because by the time the border is gonna be added onto it, which I want like half inch, three quarters. In between there, the other reason that I didn't make the sleeves any longer is because it's gonna stretch. I mean, this is a double crochet right here. That stuff always stretches out and we already have thumb holes without making thumb holes, so perfect. Maybe I'll put the pockets on actually and then after that, I'll take a break. I don't know 
which one I like better last year's compared to this year's they're just both so different like completely different styles this one I feel like I'll probably wear out more just because of the fact that it's a little more form-fitting very very happy with my choice of leaving the pockets super plain so that way the patches kind of pop a little bit more all in all genuinely very happy and I'm not gonna take this off this is my outfit for the day Okay, so that was a ride, like genuinely through and through a ride. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for the entirety of said ride. Now that everything's done though, honestly, I will definitely be making more of these. Once everything was written down, it really, like it's gonna fly. These parts, the panels, obviously, like you can see, there's a lot of space in between each stitch. So it's gonna work up really quickly. And now that I know it's out of my brain and on paper, ready to go, it's gonna go a lot quicker the second Second time around. Obviously we had to do black and red for the Friday and 13th inspired one, but I have a bunch of different color combos that I'm like, oh, this would look so great with it. Immediately, green and black. Yes, I feel like that would look fantastic. I definitely want to try that out. And the seams, I'm obsessed with this. So just be prepared to see that in the near future on my channel, a lot more when it comes to cardigans and shirts in general, just like garment wear. I'm going to be using this. The distressed look and the fact that it's so like pronounced. I love it. I don't know. I'm just obsessed with it. I'm going to go out and actually enjoy this now, wear it out in the world a little bit. That is all I have for you ghouls today. So again, thank you so much for hanging out with me for this entire process. Have a fantastically spooky day and I will see you in my next video.